What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another Better Call Saul video. Now, this is going to be the review for Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 11, man, titled Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. If you're a fan of Better Call Saul, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Better Call Saul, you get them. Now, there's been a couple episodes for this season that I didn't do. You know, I did the first half or whatever, but I just had to talk about this one right here. I had to, because this was a historic night in television history, in my opinion, man. We've been waiting for this episode for a long time. You know, if you're a true Better Call Saul fan and you've been watching since the first episode, Uno, then you know this was a long anticipated episode. We've all been waiting for this. And honestly, I knew it was coming. They didn't keep it a secret or anything. They told us that, you know, Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul were gonna be in the series. We just didn't know which episode. And when it was titled Breaking Bad, I knew automatically right there, you know, Saul Goodman's first appearance in Breaking Bad, that episode was titled Better Call Saul. So I just knew it. But this episode was so good, man. So, so good. I'm gonna give it a 9.8 out of 10. The writing was good. Just everything about the episode was so amazing. I'm just going to talk about this part first because I just want to talk about the Walter and Jesse stuff. Really, this episode was just about Saul and Jeffy trying to go to the next step in their enterprise or whatever. They're building this illegal business. They're doing illegal things to make money. You know, Saul's trying to teach Jeffy the ropes because Jeffy was kind of threatening Saul that he would snitch on him or whatever. But Saul said, if I show you everything I know, you got to keep quiet. So they've been doing this thing in the last episode we seen, they did this little scheme at the mall. They were trying to get all these clothes out of this store after it was closed and they succeeded. Now in this episode, we just see Jeffy driving the cab. You know, he works for the cab company and Saul's pretty much just sitting at these bars and he's tricking people, man. He's getting them drunk. He's acting like he's drinking, but he's really not. And then, he helps them outside, you know, to the cab and Jeffy's driving the cab. You know, Jeffy sees where they live when he drops them off, puts tape on the inside of the door so the door doesn't lock. And then they have somebody go in and take a picture of all their information, credit cards, social security, you name it, man, so they can steal all their stuff. But that's what the episode was about when it comes to that part. Then we got the Breaking Bad part, man. We see a little bit at the beginning, you know, when Saul got kidnapped in Breaking Bad, we see that scene at the very beginning of the episode where he was talking about Inacio and Lalo and stuff. And then we see the scene with Walter and Jesse. It's amazing, man. We see their RV again. We see inside the straight meth lab, just the vibes, man. The Breaking Bad vibes were back in this episode. I honestly felt like I was watching a Breaking Bad episode. I didn't even think it was Better Call Saul after a while. I'm like, damn. This is so authentic, man. The way they made, you know, Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul look, they looked exactly like how they looked in that season two episode. But this was pretty much when they needed Saul as their lawyer and stuff. They're getting ready to take Saul back to his destination. You know, they're just cracking jokes. Of course, Walter and Jesse, they're just being themselves. And it was just so funny seeing these two back together because these two don't get along, man. They're always shitting on each other. And it was just hilarious. Then we see them trying to leave in the RV. The RV won't start up. We all know how they used to have problems with that RV. It was just crazy, man. It was a crazy scene. And the fact that they had Jesse mention Lalo was crazy. He was like, oh yeah, who's Lalo? Because Saul said, did Lalo send you? And Saul said, yeah, that's just nobody. But altogether, it was a great scene, man. I loved it. I'm like, wow, breaking bad vibes right here. I couldn't even believe it. I really couldn't. And apparently, they're supposed to be in some more episodes. There's only two episodes left, but I see their name on the cast for the next one or two episodes. So we should be seeing Walt and Jesse again. Maybe not, but I think we might be seeing them again. And if so, that's going to be dope. I wish they would have showed like Walt and Jesse in like half of the season, the second half of the season, every episode. That would have been dope, man. Have a little Breaking Bad in there. You know what I mean? That would have been crazy. But that scene was just so good. So good. And then we see Francesca at the beginning of the episode. She drives to this payphone 
she talks to Saw finally after so long. You know, Saw doesn't know what's going on in Albuquerque. He's far away, so he's asking questions like, what's going on over there? What has happened? You know, she was telling Saul about all the people they caught and stuff and the FBI and the cops are still on to him. So he has to stay on the run. And he planted some money somewhere that she could pick up a lot of money. But she told Saul that she talked to Kim. And, you know, of course, Saul's wondering how she's doing and stuff. So he finds out where she works. He calls the place where she works. We don't exactly hear what they're saying. The camera kind of zooms away and we just hear Saul yelling and stuff. So I really want to know what was said in that conversation. But he did talk to Kim. And then at the end of the episode, you know, we see Saul walking up to Walt's school, man. And we see his car parked outside, which is crazy. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, straight breaking bad vibes, man. Straight breaking bad vibes. But that's everything that happened in the episode, man. It was a really good one. I cannot wait for the next one, man. Only two episodes left. This is crazy, man. Better Call Saul has finally broke bad, and I can't wait. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Better Call Saul content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.